thinking about what does it mean to have a soul? Do we even have a soul? What is the soul of a country? And my mother explained to me that the soul is um, our deepest longing for greatness. That's it. It is that aspect of us which unfolds our infinite potential. And just like uh, people have dreams, so do societies, so do organizations, so do countries. My acronym for the soul of leadership. Uh, L stands for look and listen deeply. Look and listen with your body, look and listen with your mind, look and listen with your emotions. But ultimately, look and listen through the stillness of your being and incubate there. I'll allow a vision to emerge. The second letter E talks about emotional bonding, which requires emotional intelligence, requires empathy, compassion, joy, equanimity, and understanding of other people's emotions, uh, which is called empathy, compassion, the desire to alleviate suffering, and then followed by love in action, because love without action is meaningless, and action without love is irrelevant. But when they come together, love in action through an emotional bond, where we understand our emotions, when we understand the emotions of the other, and when we have the ability to actually communicate in a way that is inspiring for all of us, so we can create a dream collectively, and we realize that there are no enemies. The enemies is just the expression of our collective shadow. The enemies ourself in a different uniform. So D here stands to dare to dream and then um, do it. I suggest smart goals, stretch more than you can reach, make everything measurable, uh, make sure your team agrees with you, uh, make sure you keep a record of everything and set time limits. When you plan that way, everything happens very spontaneously and effortlessly and joyfully. E here stands for empowerment, self-empowerment, where you feel beneath no one, uh, not superior to anyone either, where you are fearless because you go beyond your ego identity and where you also uh, learn to empower your colleagues. Um, empowerment of just one person uh, is dangerous because it leads again to the ego dramas that leaders participate in globally right now, in my opinion. R here stands for responsibility, which is very important now. I'm talking about health in general, but health includes physical well being, emotional well being, spiritual well being, financial well being, community well being, and much, much more. And when we harness well-being and cultivate a joyful energetic body loving compassionate heart clear reflective mind and lightness of being that leads to the seventh letter here synchronicity and i believe good luck is uh, uh, opportunity meeting preparedness through these letters that i've identified here as the acronym soul of leadership today Global citizen leadership is absolutely necessary. There's only one vision. If we could reach a billion people who are interested in harnessing the power of their souls, we could actually hope for a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier and joyful world.